Kelly Green is getting us ready for this weekend with most public pools. They typically open on this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, the unofficial start to summer this weekend. And my gosh, it's already felt like summer this entire month of May. So we're talking about swimming. And of course, that means lifeguards. And with me is Rich Irish. And he is the trainer for Indy Parks. Really a big job to do because there are so many jobs needed for these teenagers. It's a great summer position. But there are some prerequisites that your teenager has to have. What are they? Well, we'd like to be able to have them swim 200 yards. And we need to have them tread water for one minute using their legs only. And no hands. <laughs> no hands, no hands. And finally, to uh, get a 10 pound brick out of deep water. Yeah, so we're going to demonstrate that right now. You ready? Yep. You guys ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay, so is this a, one of the difficult parts of the job to be able to do this? Uh, it depends. If, uh, if you're an athlete, if you're an athlete and uh, you don't have much body fat, you're going to go right to the bottom. If you have more body fat, sometimes you have to fight to get to the bottom. Nice job, ladies. Well done. Alyssa and Carly out there working it for us. They are lifeguards here with Indy Parks. Now, you have a lot of jobs available. We How do. can we find jobs? Uh, go to the website, indy.gov slash jobs, and apply. And uh, we have classes coming up here uh, in early June and the middle of June that uh, they can attend and get trained. Lots of training, a great experience for teenagers, leaderships, also a great skill for them as well. Life skills, like how to use an AED, uh, rescue breathing, mm -hmm. CPR, right. first aid. All of them things you use for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we are going to do a Facebook Live here coming up at 645. I'm going to get back in the water and kind of demonstrate some of these moves. It's been a long time since I was a lifeguard, Chuck, Julie, and Ben. So we'll see how it goes for me.